What's up guys? All right, today we're doing some soil testing using a My Soil Test Kit. I know everyone and their mother is doing soil testing videos right now, but I gotta get mine done, so I figured I might as well tell you about it. In case you haven't seen the other 300 videos on how to do this, um, so just so you're gonna get a My Soil Test Kit if you get it, or if you get the one from Yard Mastery, same thing, it just says Yard Mastery on it. Um, you're gonna crack that bad boy open, you're gonna get a couple things, one of which is like your, um, registry paper uh, you also get a return label you know um, to send the soil test back in you get a little scooper um, and what that is is when this is full to the top that means that's as much as your little soil sample cup which is this can actually hold so that way you don't overfill it or anything like that uh, and I know Alan Haynes talked about this and a couple other people have talked about it but um, hopefully the camera can see it. that the little ball in there it's got a special resin in it um, that absorbs the nutrients in your soil, and that's why there's water in there. Okay, and real quick, I'm gonna go over the instructions here. That's right out of packaging, okay? Step one, register. Uh, then you pull your soil, uh, then you send it back, you get your results, and then you amend your soil or pick your fertilizers based on those results. What they recommend is picking Depending on the size of your yard, if you got like an acre or something like that, you'd probably get two soil testing kits um, to um, accurately and appropriately account for all of your area, right? What you're, sp what you're supposed to do is pick seven to ten, 10 random locations. So these are the locations I'm picking. So, how do you pull cores, or how do you pull up the soil? Um, what the recommendation is, and you'll see other videos do this, where they actually use a coring tool, um, whether that's a pro plugger or a, um, uh, I've already forgot all the other names. Anyway, you've seen them before. Um, there's handheld ones, there's full size ones, you know, um, but they pull out a core just like an aerator. And, and what you'll notice with that, and maybe I can have a picture here, is that you'll see grass on top, thatch, um, root zone dirt and then below that will be just plain dirt or soil or you know whatever it happens to be in your area or location or whatever so um, what they recommend is you pull six inches of, of dirt out six inches deep and so that's what you want to do is you want to go down to that six inch line um, pull that up take off that bottom inch and then put the rest back so um, like I said, all these people use all these fancy tools. I'm just going to use a basic um, spade trowel thing. Um, as you can see, this has measurements on it, but it goes to four inches. So there's my four inch mark. Take this two inches. Yep. So if I go down all the way, um, pat a little bit right, right up here, then I'm going to be at six inches. But if you notice, it's curved, which is great. That's going to make things easy. So I'm going to go down, not straight, but I'm going to angle it. Here's the dirt line, right? So I'm gonna go down like this, and, and I'm gonna do that four different directions so that when I actually pull that section up, I'm gonna have a nice little pyramid tip. Um, you know, I'm gonna pull it up, I'm gonna take that inch off, and I'm gonna put it all back. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, so let's go out in the lawn and check it out. So here's section number one. So like I said, I'm gonna go at an angle. I have a six inch mark. So there's sample number one. So I'm gonna do this nine more times, and then when I'm done, I'll, I'll come get you. Okay, now what do I do? What I need to do is get this all crumbled up. I'd like to let it dry, but I don't want anything to potentially get in there. Like I don't want a bird peeing on it or something, messing with my pH, something crazy, I don't know. Um, anyway, so as you notice, as I'm crumbling it up, you can see all those roots and stuff coming out. Um, right there. That's good. What am I going to do with that? Throw it away. Once all this is mixed up really, really well, which uh, I'm going to do here in a second, uh, as I continue to try to break this down, I'm also going to mix it up really, really well so it's basically one big soil sample. So I'm going to shoot for this area here. As you can see, there's basically nothing in it besides dirt. So, I'm going to open my kit. 
take my scooper, find my desirables, and scoop it on in. I can see some roots poking out. And they, you're not supposed to pack it in. Uh, I just did. So now I rip it open. Ta da! And I gently dump in my soil. There it is. Looks really interesting, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna close her up. And if you wear gloves, you feel like a scientist when you're doing this. Stick her in there, shove it down. Pull the sticky. It kind of looks like a stretched out fruit by the foot. Anyway, sticky it down, and now it's ready to go. I'm gonna stick in the mailbox, uh, and I think I'll finish this video off with the results. All right, so here are my soil test results. So as you can see, I went to my soil, uh, I believe it's mysoiltesting.com. I went to, um, there's a register login. I went ahead and logged in. And now we can go ahead and look at my soil results. So as you can see over here on the right, it says completed. So if I just click on completed, it's gonna load up my results here. And let's take a look. All right, so as expected right now, since I haven't fertilized since November, um, my nitrogen low levels are low. That's gonna get fixed um, here not too long when I go ahead and start fertilizing for the season, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, my phosphorus is actually awesome. I was uh, kind of thinking it might be a little bit high um, because I was using a bunch of malorganite last season, but this year I'm sticking with um, probably no pea. I don't, obviously, I don't need it. Um, so my next level here is um, potassium K. As you can see, that's a little bit low. Um, that's pretty easily fixed. Uh, uh, next is sulfur. Now I'm not too familiar with, I know sulfur can be used to lower pH, um, but as you can see, my pH is just barely over the, into the optimal line. So I'm not gonna worry about sulfur. Um, as you can see, my calcium is looking pretty good. My magnesium is looking good. My sodium is looking good. Um, at the very least, they're within optimal levels. Uh, my iron is um, it's a little bit low, um, so as you, as you can see here, um, let me get my drawing tool, my iron is 1.58 out, um, the optimal level is between 4 and 11. Um, again, that's also going to be taken care of because I am putting down uh, you know, fertilizers that contain iron, so that's going to get back up. Um, and then as we can see, my micronutrients down here, I'm just going to lump them all together. Um, all those are going to get taken care of with things like microgreen. So that is what you're going to get when you get a soil ana analysis from my soil right there and then the actual true levels of those things right here. And of course I'm doing this on my phone so it looks a little different than it's going to look on a web page but they made it so it will look good either way. So uh, basically this, uh, what I'm going to do here when it comes to my lawn plan is I'm going to stick with the same plan I was already planning on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I'm still going to stick with green counter fertilizer, especially the biost impact to get those micronutrients in the ground. I'm still going to stick with carbon earth products for my granular fertilizer. If you like this, you want to know more, or you want to talk to me about my results, um, just shoot me a comment, or you can reach out to me on um, Lazy Lawns on Instagram. Um, either way, I'm totally open to talk about stuff. If you think you know, if you think you have a good idea of what I should be doing instead of what I'm going to be doing, let me know. I, you know, I'm, I'm totally open to to talking about this stuff and changing things around. Um, anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and like the video. If you love the video, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment down below. Um, or like I said, reach out to me on, on Instagram at Lazy Lawns. Um, thanks for taking a look at this video, guys. Have a good one.